right, so we're running a couple of minutes after seven o'clock, so let's go ahead and get started. That way we can kind of get moving on and get you, uh, get you out of here tonight. Um, as I stated last uh, general membership meeting, so number one, welcome and thanks for coming out tonight. Um, beautiful night. You could have been doing lots of other things, so we appreciate your time coming and, uh, and chatting a little bit, so thank you. Um, instead of like in the past we have done a lot of like uh, even some business meeting kind of thing stuff like that and so we're taking care of all those in the uh, in the um, general or the, I'm sorry the board membership meetings and and then just kind of coming and giving you guys a general overview of what we accomplished for the for the for the month and uh, we're meeting a couple times a month so we really didn't figure it was uh, we, we try to be respectful of board members times and your time as well we want to keep you informed and involved as much as we can um, but we we got lots of stuff going on in the board meetings and we're checking stuff off the list and getting things done and we'll just pass along the information to you guys and i think that's what you're after anyway it's kind of what's going on and, and what's up and and to feel like you're involved and and, and get some information so um with the we usually kick off with the pledge i'm sorry about the coloration on on my computer here but if we'll all stand and and um Justin McCoy, you lead us in the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Um, just some kind of latest news uh, about what we've kind of had going on the, the past uh, month um, from last time we met is uh, we, we had an outstanding contract agreement with, uh, with Toyota. Um, they are, um, they are we've, we've got that contract signed. It's been, it's been sent back to them. So we're just kind of waiting on them to, to, uh, to decide um, that they're good and then send us the, the, um, the signed contract on, the, on their side of things. Um, the road closures, I went to the, uh, the, the Board of Public Works and presented our road closure stuff. We're closing the road system down earlier this year. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. So this, the, on the 4th of July is a holiday, so the city guys um, are taking the holiday off, of course. So uh, we wanted to get as much done as we can earlier in the week. So, you know, really for just people's safety and, and, uh, and, uh, and ours as well. So we're not, you know, watching cars and, and, uh, and having to deal with that kind of stuff. So we're, the road will be definitively closed down uh, at 8 o'clock on Monday morning every got a week. Um, so anybody that's doing any business beforehand and afterhand, then, then just be, be aware of the fact that that road's going to get shut down. Um, as of 8 o'clock on Monday morning. And I think that is the second, maybe? Uh, without looking, on, I'm not sure. Um, we partnered up with WIKI. Um, uh, bo the board members uh, knew that and voted on that. So uh, they had an, an online auction, um, I think, uh, like maybe last week, week four last, maybe. Um, and we sent them um, X number of dollars. I think it was $740 worth of goods to them. Um, if we spent $12, um, for that $12 that we spent, we got a 30-second commercial. Um, so basically, it, it equated out to, uh, to 124 30-second commercials that we're going to get. And that's going to be split between WIKI and, uh, and the Eagle 99.3 out of Lawrenceburg. Um, the reason the Lawrenceburg thing is important to us is, is uh, we're partnering with Rheingeist, and, and they have a very big presence towards Cincinnati. Um, so we, we couldn't get a 30-second commercial for 12 bucks from anybody. So we thought it was a great deal. Board members made a good decision, I think, and, and uh, so we're, we're going to be pumping a lot of information Cincinnati's way. So we're, we've got a meeting tomorrow to discuss the Rheingeist thing, so hopefully they're going to be on board. Uh, that's a big hometown brew from Cincinnati, so hopefully we'll get a lot of participation from them and, uh, and the extra um, you know, media attention that, we're, that that area is going to get. Hopefully we'll get a bigger draw from Cincinnati this year. Um, the, ID, the IEDC grant submitted, um, we sent that out a couple of months ago. Um, Andrew Forrester is working with, uh, with them. That's the Indian Economic Development Commission. Um, they're the ones who give us the $50,000 grant last year to, 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 to improve infrastructure for us. Um, we've asked for that number to be bumped up. Uh, I had a phone conversation with Raleigh Hemmerling, the guy that, that's, that's over that, and, and, uh, and, he, and he put uh, Andrew in touch with the guy that, that he needs to chat with, and so they're gonna kinda get some final numbers. We have no, we've not got what, what they have available to give to us yet from them so that's forthcoming but Andrew did say in the conversation that he had the email exchange and the phone chat that he had is uh, that, that that seems to be progressing very well and, and, and we should be fine. Um, the Indiana Office of Tourism grant application is in process. Um, we submitted that and, uh, and then uh, actually we've, we found out just before um, I was able to, to, I wasn't able to take that off um, between then and now. Um, but that grant process, they're out of the money that they have allocated for that. 
Um, so we won't be eligible for that this year, um, but we're eligible for up to 20,000 next year. So we're, we're on, on that for 2020 um, already. So, uh, so that's where we are uh, grant money wise. And, and again, I apologize for the coloration here. Um, this is some of our social media um, numbers. So um, as you can see, um, some of our, uh, our total actions on our web page is up about 50%. Uh, and this is just like the last six days of, of information. So um, our page views are up 16%. 221 people have been there over the past um, the, the past six days to, to, to interact with us on our social media. Um, so let's see here. Um, post reach, uh, again, over the last um, the last six days, we're up 7%. So we've we've interacted with about 3,000 more people than what we did the week before. Um, so. Uh, the post engagements, that's people who are actually really chatting it up with us on our social media stuff. So they're, they're commenting and we're commenting back and forth and there's a good exchange. So that, that's a good number to be up 106%. Um, so that's, that's good information for us. And, and this is why social media is so important to us, right? Because we actually get to see who we're interacting with uh, and then we know where we're spending our money at. I mean, with a radio ad, they can kind of give us some generic numbers. Um, but this stuff, we really see who that is and we can drill that information down to the people we really want to see that. You can target age groups, you can target uh, specific locations in the country or, or even specific like boat race fans or if a guy is, is a Whiskey Meyer fan, we can target that audience. So that's why this social media stuff really is, is, is very important and, and a wise investment on our part to make sure we're getting those people. Um, Cheryl's going to talk in just a couple of minutes about some of our online sales. Matt sent this to me this, this, um, this morning. Um, our adult racing VIP stuff uh, totals out to be... Uh, 6,825. I think that's dollars. The spreadsheet that I had, I'm, I, some, some of it didn't copy over as, as well as what I had hoped. Um, but it looks like 175 people. Um, so um, th this really is where we are. Uh, race combo entries, I think that's a total of maybe, I think these are dollars over here. Um, so we've got a total of 282 people so far. Um, so music festival only. So you're just kind of seeing the breakdown um, of what's happened over the, the course of the last few weeks. So um, Cheryl, do you have, you, she's got some more, uh, maybe some, some more dollar number figures to throw out there, so. Um, I have for that have already paid uh, $9,237. And then total uh, RV sales, park sales, and website is $34,426. So the total online sales so far is 42600 so that's really good news for us, right? Uh, to getting those sales early and all that bit and capturing those kind of people. So we got some a uh, little bit of money to kind of start doing some things and start making some deposits that we need to ship to boat teams and, and pay sanctioning fees and insurance and all that stuff. So, so, um, so a lot of good news to report there. Um, this is our list of sponsors so far. Mike licklider has been out uh, uh, really doing a lot of work. Um, Mike, do you have anything to add to this slide here? Um, Sure. Yep. It's a slow game, slow process, but he's out beating on doors and, and making things happen. So, um, so great job for the list. These are again, these are our current sponsors. So, um, so we're glad to have them on board, and uh, and always appreciative for them, for people to step up to the plate and, and help us out. So, uh, the poster that Brent sent out to the board. Um, this is just a, a couple of potential designs for these things. I, I think the intention is to to maybe print both these. Brent, you want to talk about that? Oh uh, uh, yeah, Matt Wells designed both. So we kind of came up with two different designs, one that focused a little bit more on the racing side since obviously our, our major portion of our fan base is race fans, uh, which you can see on the right side, which also features the first Gold Cup here in 39 years, uh, which is a major selling point for us. The, the one on the left side kind of splits the two events equally. So we can, in my mind, I will probably print both of them hang them one, uh, the one that's race focused in most businesses, hang the one that's kind of equally split and more music venues and stuff like that. So um, so we can attract an equal number of races. <coughs> so. 
that way kind of people are getting kind of both sides of really kind of what they want and what they want to see and all that stuff. Some people partner for us with the with music side of things. Some people partner us um, with the uh, the boat race side of things. So so it's kind of neat. Um, I know that a couple people suggested in, in some of the email string that I saw is, is that lightning bolt or whatever that, that graphic really is right there is maybe making that look like a road or a street and calling it Vaughn Drive because that's really kind of the separation between the two is, is uh, you know, Vaughn Drive. So that was kind of a clever idea, uh, all that bit. So Sarah, go ahead. Sure. So yep. I agree. When I look at it, the normal, particularly the American citizens, we read right to left. And right. With that division, my focus is more on the left top side. And I really haven't spent much time to put the bottom right. If it was blue, I, I find myself being totally, always drawn back to that. Sure, and this this very well may be Sarah. I, I can sh I'll show you the better picture uh, like straight away on my computer screen. So the uh, yeah the um, well I think the intent is probably for us to try to do something uh, on both of these things rather than just one or the other. Because again, we have some music sponsors that are really interested in the music side of things, and then we have the race sponsor people that that want to be on that side of things as well. So. We're trying to kind of keep her. Yeah, we're trying as best we can. You know how that stuff goes. Yeah, but I, balance, yeah. and I, I think really a lot of the thing here is, is is the coloration transfer from my computer to this to this overhead projector really isn't grand either. And I can, yeah, I can show you the the, the real picture when we get done. And um, so. Is it possible to make that line softer with the shading? I'm sure that it is. Yeah. yeah. And that, I think that yeah. Take care of. Absolutely. Yeah, we have some. Like I said, this is a draft, uh, so it's not our final design. We also have some sponsors that we need to add to these, um, but we're kind of waiting for all those to fall into place before we go print, so we don't have to print again after more sponsors come on board. So it can't, it can't be edited. Yeah, we'll, we'll send that feedback. So, I mean, that's just it. If that's the first things that you're seeing, then, and then we can address that, and that, that's probably a pretty easy fix. I don't know anything about it. That's why that guy does what he does. But I'm guessing that'd be, that'd be a pretty easy fix for for that. So, um, the showboat progress. Um, so, the five the five guys are interested in helping us with that. We're, we we've asked them to partner with us this year and come down and bring some of their vintage boats to run on Friday. Friday's the free day for people to come down and, and watch what's going on, all that bit, right? So, uh, one of the guys that's that's a five to five boat racer. Um, he is also on the Miss Madison crew, and and he's been helping um, get that that showboat. Uh, ready. So the five, the five guys, we've, we've not really come and sat down to an agreement yet, but over the past handful of days, they're discussing they would, they would like to pay for the paint and help us paint that um, if we could put one of their logos on, something like that. So I, I think that potentially we can do that. That'll be no real cost to us at all. And, and to advertise for those guys as well. Again, they're part of our show, so I think it's just it's, it's a good thing for them and it's a good thing for us. Um, and uh, so they've, again, I'm sorry for the picture quality, but, um, but they've, they've buffed on this thing, sanded it pretty good, and, and it actually really doesn't look bad. The colors there um, for you, you know, older guys have been around for a little while, are pretty close to the original Miss Madison, I think, the yellow and the brown. And um, so we, just, we would just have to have really a couple stickers to kind of add to that. Um, so Trey is, is um, he's kind of a perfectionist kind of guy, so he really wants to kind of get his hands on this thing and kind of paint it. And so they've been doing some work. Him and Mick Barron um, have really kind of been after the whole thing down there to get it straightened out. Um, we are looking for a trailer. And um, so we've, I've talked to a couple different companies about maybe potentially building a trailer for us. Um, the pictures that I got from Charlie, uh, it's been probably, I don't know, maybe six, eight months ago, is basically a car hauler trailer. Uh, and they built a, a truss system to, to hold the boat. Uh, they did the same thing with the, with the old Miss Madison display boat that's the home street boat now that they have out in Seattle. Um, so they were taking some pictures the last couple of weeks. They were out there doing some work on some of their equipment and all that bit. The team is back here. Uh, some of them are back here now doing stuff. So um, they've got some measurements and all that business and, and we're just trying to, to work out a time where we can kind of sit down and scratch the rest of it out. So, um, so if you know where a good car hauler trailer is or a company that you could recommend that might give us a good deal on a car hauler trailer, then, then we're certainly interested in that. Uh, and it needs to be something we can pull with a truck or something like that that doesn't have you know, big air brake systems and all that stuff. It only weighs 5,500 pounds, the boat itself. 
Um, so it should be a pretty easy find to, to grab a trailer that, that, uh, that'll take, you know, 10, 15,000 pounds and, and, and be fine. Because we're looking to take this to, to like boat shows and, and uh, the home garden RV shows. Uh, Matt Wells is working on trying to get a spot for us if we can get a trailer and, and, uh, and get it ready and get it up to him. Um, it's putting it somewhere during the 500 and, and kind of showing some things off. And, and uh, Brent's been to some music festivals before, you know, and, and they're working on trying to secure a spot for us to bring the thing to and, and kind of show it off again. And, and, I mean, what a pretty awesome showpiece to put some information on. It's a heck of a billboard and certainly gets people's attention. So um, so I just kind of want to share with you what's going on. These, um, these little work spot plates that they have, um, they, they actually have the covers down there now, and, and uh, so they're going to get those things put in and, and sealed up and, and all that bit. And I think that's why Trey's wanting to paint the whole thing after he gets that done, so it doesn't uh, it, is, it looks that much better. So, so that's where that stands. So uh, anybody that, that might happen to have a line on a, har a car hauler trailer, then 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 please you know hang around and all that stuff, and and uh, and we'll chat about it when we get done. Um, elections uh, nominations are open. Um, as of this meeting here, so um, let me get these passed out and around. If you can kind of start something out that way. We know we have a few spots that are uh, that are open and, uh, and available and and uh, and due for this for this election cycle. Last. Uh, Two years ago, uh, as a board, we decided that, uh, that it was a good idea for the president's spot to be a, a, a two-year term. Uh, and, and seemingly to me, over the course of the, the, my eight years of being involved, um, it, it seemed like whoever the president person was, about the time they kind of got the job figured out, they were trying to pass the baton on to somebody else to try to figure things out and all that bit. So, uh, so we decided in 2017 that we wanted to make that position a two-year position um, so that our bylaws currently reflect that. Um, now, so that that's why that's not on the list. So I've got this year and next year will be my term, uh, and then Curtis uh, Chatham follows me up with with a couple years. So we really don't have to elect anybody until next year. Um, so that that way we just know who the the, the next VP is going to be when Curtis takes over after 2020. So so if you're wondering why that spot's not on the list, then 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 that's the explanation for that. Um, so so scratch out your nominations if if uh, if you if you're interested in the spot. Um, then, then by all means, we'd like to have you. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot that goes on and a lot of people travel and all that stuff, so I certainly understand that. I and mean, again, we want to be as respectful with people's time as we can. Um, so uh, you got the form, so take your time, fill those things out, and when we get done, if you just bring them up to this front table up here and we can, we can get those things sorted out and, and, and be ready. We're actually going to vote next meeting. So, uh, and, and if I understand, Kim, correct me if I'm wrong, you have to be a paid member by this meeting to be able to vote in, in the, the May election. So, so any questions before I move on from, from that? All right, good deal. Um, so, Justin, hop on up here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So, I, what's it been? A couple months ago now, uh, Debbie Crawford set up a meeting um, with, with the two of us. So, um, I met him in, in Milton, and we chatted about how we could partner back and forth. Um, Justin is, is part of the McCoy family on the other side of the river, and um, so they, they've been a constant donator to, to us, uh, sending us some money each year and all that bit. Um, the good thing for us this year is, is that we're agreeing on a partnership, and Justin and, and his family are going to sell wristbands for us over there, along with their campsites. So, yes. So. So they, they've been a great partner. You know, we, we want to give their family recognition for all the things that they've done in the past. A lot of people don't know that they've even given us money in the past before. Just how long you guys been? I know. Back in the 60s, didn't you tell 60s, me? 60s back. Uh, I've got letters from where Grandpa and stuff and the receipts from where they was donating from back then. But uh, it's, it's, it's been going on for a long time. And we want to do all we can to help support it the best we can. So. So we're, we're thrilled to have them guys on board. Uh, you know, again, this is a big deal for us. I don't know that in the history of Madison Regatta we've partnered up with them on purpose like this. Um, so this is a, it's a great thing for us to, to have the, their side of the river on board with us. Uh, him and Brent are already talking about, man, how we can maybe run a shuttle service and maybe add a music, st I mean, the music stage over there next year and lots of stuff going on already. So, I mean, that partnership is already flourishing very well, that stuff. So we definitely want to get Justin over here tonight and make that announcement, and, and, uh, and we're thrilled to have him on board. So, again, another round of applause. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, Thank you. And without this man, this coffee, what happens? So yep, good deal.
Greatly appreciate it. Fantastic. Thank you. So that's really kind of the big news that we have for tonight. Um, anybody got any questions? Uh, Natalie's got some membership applications back there in the back. Um, and so if we can get those filled out. Cheryl's here with some receipt, with a receipt book, all that bit. Um, so does anybody else have anything? I mean, Jason, do you have anything? You got a crane meeting coming up? and. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Good deal. Good. Good. I, yeah. Yep. Good. I think we had a good relationship with them the last couple of years, so they, they've been great. So, anybody else? Mike, you got anything else for sponsorship stuff? One thing, let's bring the not card spaces. Yes. We need, we need to mention that. They went out to the general public on April 1st. Uh, all legacy fans received an invoice from Cheryl. So if you'd have one in the past, you got first rights to it. If you didn't, what we're hearing is we never got an invoice, this and that. Check your spam, check your trash. She's got copies of everybody that gave us an email last year got invoiced. But right now, everything's wide open uh, and for sale. And Cheryl and I, since Monday, it, it's exploded. Everybody and brother wants car space. Sure. So if you had one in the past and don't think you got an invoice, there's a email address for carts. Email that or go to your trash, go to your spam, find that invoice and get paid for it because what we're running into is people have it renewed and other people want them. And sure. Since April first came and went, we're selling. And we, and we definitely want to make sure those people who are coming back at the same spots they've had if they want to do that. And that email address, it's, it's all one word. It's madisonregattatarps at gmail.com. So if you can pass that along to somebody who might be having questions and all that bit, then, then that's the email address to send to, to the, the inquiry. And, and like Mike said, so uh, just, just to make sure to check your spam file and all that stuff to make sure that, that you're, you actually got the invoice. Cheryl's got the email list and... Yes, yeah, she sent that out before even February rolled around. So, and she's got copies of all those that, that, that sent out all those invoices that went out. Um, so, e email that email address and, and, uh, and we'll get you some information. And because, again, we don't want to sell somebody's spot who's been around for a while. We want everybody to get their spots back. Um, we're working with Matt and True Mountain uh, marketing team to get the website straightened out so we can get that map on the website. I uh, just got an email from him just a few minutes ago, like 4 something, 4.35 o'clock this evening. Um, he's, he's already checking into how to get that added, and, uh, and, um, and he should have some more information for us tomorrow about it. So hopefully that will be a pretty easy fix. So anybody else? Kim, you got, what do you got? Anything festival side? Good deal. Kind of status quo for us. Yep, absolutely. Yep, yep. Michael Clatter, fantastic job getting that sponsorship for us. So um, you know that's that's money we're putting in young ladies' hands. Um, you know for scholarships. So it was a thousand dollars for the first for the winner and five hundred for the second or the first runner-up. So a lot of good scholarship money to get these these gals in, in college and take care of stuff. And I, I got a kid in college, so so I, I know that whoever's sending a kid is going to win is going to be appreciative of that. So uh, I'm looking around. Any, and, oh, John. I think probably as people here probably don't know who's holding what office that we all read off the present list to grace chairman sponsorship, you know, and all that. So they know. Yeah, I should have been ready for that, but um, the book that I got from give to Kim, I didn't ask him to bring that with me tonight. Um, so that's that's my fault. Um, I have this year and next year, Curtis is the vice president this year and next year he'll become the president in twenty twenty one. Um, Jason is the race chairman, um, and yep, yep. Jason's the race chairman. Roger is the vice or the assistant race chair. Um, Mick Barron is the pit chair. Isn't that right, Snake? Okay. And uh, what what else is on the list here to make sure I've got it? Um, Cheryl is the treasurer. Libby is the secretary. Mike Licklider is the sponsorship chairman, and then we just have four at-large board positions that that are from people that are coming off. So, oh yes, Kim Washer Festival. Yes, I didn't see that on the list. She left that off because she's just going to be there. Yeah. That's a the board is that a, that's a two or f two year yeah 
Yes. And that's split out so that every year we don't have a whole new board. So there's so many that come off. That's why there's four this time. So we don't just have four board members. We, we've got, a, I think, up to 19. So. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think maybe. Because you came with Snake or you? Who was the other new? We had two new, didn't we? Greg. No, I thought somebody else was on there with Natalie. There probably was. Yeah. It was Kyle Vibes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Sarah. This question for just information purposes. Um, it's in the bylaws that, that, that they can that they cannot they can serve well they can serve two consecutive terms, and then we're supposed to lay out a year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That you can run two cycles, kind of like the sheriff's office. You can run two cycles, and and then you're supposed to set out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Anybody else? Go ahead. Uh, GPs, yes, we, we have a, an agreement in principle signed. Um, I'm glad you said that because Curtis and I had a, con uh, a, a phone conference today with Sam and, and I think one or two other members of, of their committee um, today just to kind of iron out some kind of uh, some issues that were new. So last, um, last year we put a performance clause into the, the H1 contract. We've done the same thing with GPs this year. Um, so we're kind of ironing out just a couple of those things to kind of make sure that we both understand, um, you know, we're, we're we're, we're coming from on our side, where they're coming from on their side. So it was a good phone conversation today. They're going to draft up, um, you know, some of that language to put in that contract to send back to us to get a signature for. Um, I've not gotten the final contract back from H1 yet either. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting on that to, for any day now for us to get that and ship that back out. Um, next thing's kind of on our list um, of, of taking care of some stuff is, is our sanctioning agreement with APBA. Uh, we'll be taking care of that uh, across the course of the next week or two. Um, and that takes care of our sanctioning agreement and the insurance is included in that as well. So that, I, think that's, I think last year was about $12,000 if I remember right. So um, we're ready to pay those things and get some deposits out for these guys a lot bit. But we wanted the contracts in place before we, you know, sent them a check. And then they're like, oh, hey, we're, you know, we're, I mean, we, we know they're coming. They, they know they're coming and, and everybody seems to be pretty excited about it. And, and uh, I think the H1 guys are kind of sprucing up their social media and website stuff. The GP guys have just gotten done with that as well. Uh, we're, we've done the same thing. So... I think last year was a really good feel for us. It was great weather, all that bit. So everybody seems to be pretty excited about coming back on board. And, and how can you not be excited about the Gold Cup coming back after 39 years? So, so we're really happy about that. So um, anybody else? Um, I will, anybody that needs um, cop forms, um, I did print out like 30 of them and brought them in my other car. So <laughs> if anybody needs to get their comp forms filled out prior to next meeting, I'll, I can email them to you, just call me, text me, whatever, and I can get comp forms out. But I'd rather go ahead and get started with those. We talked with Brent Turner today, you know, just trying to get some of that, the, the stuff that is going to come last minute, mm -hmm. I'd rather try to get it done as quickly as possible. So if you know German American is going to sponsor sh for the bank, if they've got, if that's part of their sponsorship, just get me the information so I can go ahead and start putting that stuff together. My basement looks like it. Got exploded in, so um, <laughs> I'm, I'm already ready. I'm trying to get stuff geared up and ready to go. I'll be ready. Yeah, so between the form Cheryl's got and you got all that stuff, we'll, we'll be able to capture all that information. And, and again, it's all about tracking, right? So if we're giving some stuff away from some people, then we can account for that and we can show every wristband's got a number on it and we're going to be able to tell everybody where every wristband went, right? So, so that way we, we just know we have it all captured. So anybody else? Going once, twice? Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? Greg and Joe second. All in favor? All right. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. <laughs>